Welcome back, Enchanters, to another mega episode. I don't know how long this video is going to be. I'm not going to go too much into detail. I'm just going to talk about the piece. I'm not discussing price point. You will eventually, eventually see the price point when I do the actual capsule collection of the piece. There are some rare ones like this one I am going to discuss the price point. But uh, for the most part, when I do the actual like Snow White movie, Little Mermaid movie, Rapunzel movie, Nightmare Before Christmas movie, etc. I'll go more into details with the price, etc. But for time's sake purposes, I am going to try to rush through this video. I know it will probably be about an hour long, so fair warning. <laughs> uh, once again, my name is Jean-Pierre Bon Jovi. You can call me JP. If this is your first time here, hi, how are you? Um, we here, uh, we do a lot on this channel. So we, every Monday, uh, you have my commitment. I come to y'all and I share uh, a video of my collection. So uh, whether it be Disney Gym Shore, Polly Pockets, uh, collectible figurines, Marvel, Pokemon, I, you name it, I collect it. If there's something you want to see, as this video below was suggested by a viewer lap about three weeks ago, um... Make sure to comment below. What is it that you want me to either unbox, share, um, etc. Again, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. Ding! Every time I come live to uh, live, I say that every time, and I'm just gonna keep saying that. Every time I upload content every Monday, you'll get notified, um, and I also upload sometimes on Thursdays as well. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, this video was requested by a subscriber on the comment section, and I believe it was a he wanted to see all the Disney villain figurines. Y'all put me to work today. It literally took me about 25 minutes to take all of these pieces out of the curio cabinets. And well, here we are. <laughs> and so let's go ahead and dive in with the very first piece, which in my experience is the most expensive piece out of my entire villains collection. It is the rarest piece to come across. And it is the Disney Jim Shore Villains Castle. Now you did see this, this piece before. If you watched my previous video on the top 20 most expensive pieces ever made from Disney Jim sure this is definitely up there um, this piece is a first of its class um, as you zoom in it is a 360 castle um, with pumpkins uh, the windows look like a uh, ghoul like ghouly windows and it's like skull windows and it's uh, surrounded with a bunch of villains you have Maleficent's dragon you have Jafar, Hades, Cruella, Captain Hook we have Ursula, TikTok, Scar, the Tiger from the Jungle Book, and the Evil Queen. And we also have a little cameo appearance by Iago and Mirror Mirror on the Wall. So this piece is a light up and sound piece. So it does have a sound. All the back windows light up in purple LED lights. You can't really see it here with the ring light. And it makes that ghoulish sound. And the front of it, uh, the front two lights right in the front, like this, right by where the gates at, looks like skull eyes. That lights up as well. They flicker. So um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece. When this piece first retailed, it was about one fifty when it first retailed, one twenty five. Now in the secondary market, for one that comes in its original box in pristine condition, I've actually seen some sell for about eight hundred, seven hundred dollars. Contrary to my previous video, I said that it goes up for a little over a thousand. You can't get lucky with this piece. And sometimes you might get lucky on the secondary market. Someone doesn't know what they have and they're just selling it. And they may sell it for $200, $300. So you can get lucky. This piece was limited in its size run. It came out around 2015, 2014. I believe it was 2014. Um, and it was the last castle piece Jim Shore made. And now he's remaking castle pieces. So super excited about this one uh, and this is the only one it's really one of a kind because it's all the villains incorporated in one and uh jim created this uh you can't find this anywhere else this was a jim shore original design just setting that aside and now let's continue on so we have a lot to discuss and i'm going to try to go as laser as possible next we have are these four pieces they were designed they came out relatively around the same time and it is the evil queen she's gone up drastically in price from when she first launched of the four i'm going to show you she is the rarest one 
Um, and uh, all of these four villain pieces that came out, they each tell a story with their garment. So as you can see here, you have the henchman, you have the heart box, the poison apple, and you have her as the evil hag. Uh, the name of this piece is Evil Intentions. So next we have Ursula. So uh, if you see my Little Mermaid video, the previous video, I discussed her. She's quite relatively still common to get. She hasn't gone much up in price since she first launched. And the name of this one is Deep Trouble. As you zoom in, beautiful piece. We also have in this same collection, a Maleficent piece. The name on this piece is Malevent, Malevent Madness. As you can see, she also has a story on her dress, and it is Prince Philip uh, battling the dragon in the final scene. This has also, it's still quite inexpensive. You can get it for $65, $70 on the secondary market. Hasn't gone up much in value. Next, we have Cruella, which is the last piece that they made in this collection, which is called Devilish Dog Napper. And I love this piece. This is the first time you experience both of her henchmen. Uh, we've never seen an appearance of them. And so I'm excited we got to finally see one. This was also the, um, this was the second Cruella ever made. And in the background, this is the scene where all the little puppies are under the stairwell. It's so cute. You see them all there. It's my favorite scene in the movie. Uh, so super, super, super cute. I love this piece so much. Um, not too overpriced on the secondary market. You can still find it. Um, and those complete those four pieces. Then they had the Halloween collection. Now, y'all saw this one in my previous video. And this one, the name of this one again is Deliciously Greedy. And it is Ursula for Halloween. I love this piece because it's a one of a kind. It's it's a piece Jim made where she's just just indulging in so many sweets. All her tentacles are holding. Her hands are both holding sweets. All of her tentacles are holding uh, Halloween candy. And I think it's super, super, super cutie. Love this piece. We also have from the Halloween collection. We have the Candy Curse. This piece I absolutely love. Um, it is it is actually no, it is not. I'm gonna retract. I'm, not gonna, I'm gonna take that back. Um, this right here is Maleficent. What I love about her is the candy corn horns. I think that is so epic. Uh, as you look at those details, it is absolutely beautiful. The back. I love the fall colors from the front and the back cascading, and her staff instead of that green. Um, or that green ball it's actually a pumpkin i think it's super cute it is adorable and there you have it and by the way i still have more pieces on the ground that i still have to show there is a lot of pieces i'm going to tell you right now as we count we have a total of one two three four 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51 villains pieces. And now some may argue because I do have some of the little henchmen or side characters, but I'm counting them as villains because I know there's going to be someone in the commentary section who says, you forgot to mention Lucifer <laughs> or the Siamese cats <laughs> or um, this one right here, which will be one of our next ones the um toothy terror um what's his name i know i'm getting so sidetracked from where we were i forget what he is but anyway let's dive into the next halloween exclusive villains piece which is poison pumpkin and it's the evil queen holding a pumpkin instead of an apple look at that as you zoom in it's absolutely beautiful i love the colors on the back of her outfit that's really the only thing that distinguishes her 
is she has some right here on the side, some rose modeling details. And she also has this back. Aside from that and the pumpkin, it can go for uh, just a regular Evil Queen piece. Next we have first appearance, first time appearance in a series, and it is the Shadow Man can. It is the Shadow Man, the voodoo dude from Princess and the Frog. It's the first time we ever see him as a villain. I love as you zoom in, his lankiness. It looks like he's literally being held by toothpicks. <laughs> um, I really, really, really love this piece. Um, it is beautiful. So he is true to his iconicness and just what he wears as attire. What's distinct is he's holding this, this jack-o'-lantern, which wobbles, a uh, candy dish. And I'm pretty sure it's full of poisonous candy um he this is a gorgeous gorgeous piece by the way all these pieces retailed for fifty dollars when they launched i'm not sure about what the price is but i'm pretty sure you can still relatively find them they shouldn't be too hard to find these came out in 2019 and there you have it we mentioned these already and lastly, what I want to mention, now I did this in my video of my fall collection that just came in. So fall, was it fall? Yeah, fall of 2020 collection that came in, which was the princesses uh, sided with the evil villains. And so the name of this piece, we're going to go really quick on these, is Sorcery and Serenity. Um, it is Aurora with Maleficent as you zoom in and there's three other and this is also my best friend my favorite rendition of aurora the way that they got her mint color is impeccable it's my favorite version of her next we have hades this one is moxie and menace And I, again, I'm always forgetting her name and I'll remember it like halfway through the video. It's going to come to me. Uh, so here we have it. This is a Hercules collection. What is your freaking name? Why do I always forget it? Um, and there you have it. Now, what's really exciting about this collection that you see here is there's two more pieces being launched now in June. We are going to get an Ariel and Ursula piece, which I'm so excited for. Really excited for that. And we are also getting, we're getting another princess. I forget who it's going to be. It's not, Cin is it Cinderella? I don't think it's Cinderella. It's not Cinderella. It's not Rapunzel either. Well, I do know that we're getting Ariel and Ursula, and I know there's another princess coming out as well that we're getting a duel ended uh, side by side with the evil, with the evil villain from that movie. I forget which one the other one's going to be. If you know, please comment below in the commentary section. Uh, so here we have Snow and the Evil Queen. I love this piece. The name on this one is Evil and Innocence. Again, these are brand new. They just launched earlier. They just launched late last year in fall 2020. You can still get your hands on this one, on any of these. And for the same retail value. These, I believe, retail for $60 each, if I'm not mistaken. Then we have my absolute favorite piece in the collection, which is... What's the name of this one? Chaos and Curiosity, which is the evil Queen of Hearts and um, Alice. So as you zoom in, you can see all the detail. Oh, I just absolutely love this piece so much. Ooh. It's early afternoon and I'm already yawning. I do it every video. I don't know why. And there you have it. So I'm going to go ahead, take a quick break, and I will be right back with showing you adding all the other pieces that are missing to the table and taking the ones that I already uh, display out. I'll be right back. 
And we're back! <laughs> see some additions you didn't see before? No, this is the remaining pieces. I can't believe we get to cover all of these. <laughs> so the next three pieces I'm doing them together was back in 2014, 2015. Jim had um, created these, you know, monogram figurines. And um, he made quite a few and he made three villains. Uh, he has Wicked, Maleficent. He has the Evil Queen with Drama and Cruella Diva. Those are the names of these pieces. I'm going to rotate them for you. So they are 360. The villains are what isn't is the actual word. The back is flat. Now what's really weird about this one, I just noticed the Cruella piece. She actually has two legs at the bottom when you zoom in. But they look so weird and just nubby as if like her length was cut off it's really weird uh but these are the three pieces drama is quite common to find the rarest of them all is the cruella one the diva and there you have it these are absolutely beautiful i will say before i put these down I will say like price point wise, when these launched, they were about $35 each around that price point. Uh, the, again, the drama is still fine. It's quite inexpensive. Wicked has gone up maybe a little bit. I'd say you probably pay about $75, $80 and the Diva you'll pay over $100 for. She's become a lot more difficult to find. I am giving you the price on these because I don't think I'm ever going to do another video when I talk about these. So this is the only opportunity you're going to be able to see these. Some of these I do repeats of in the capsule collection. I probably will, but um, just throwing that out there. Awesome. So the next villains we have, y'all seen him before in the Cinderella. He's a little henchman, so I consider him a villain. This is Devious Lucifer. This is one of the, this is, this initially came out in 2007. Yeah, these came out in 2007 when the Cinderella capsule collection launched. He also launched a collection of five feline cats. And Lucifer was one of them. Uh, absolutely love this piece. It's the only appearance Lucifer has ever made. And his price has been going up. You could find them for about like $100, $125. And when they initially launched, they were like $35. So, and mind you, 2007. But they did create a bulk load of these. They made a lot of these. Um... And I believe it may have had a reissue. I'm not sure. So there you have it. We also have from the Feline Collection, I consider them villains, is the Siamese Suitors C and M. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece. First time and only time an appearance in Lady and the Tramp for Jim Shore. And this is the Siamese Twins Cats. Um, such a beautiful piece. I'm telling you, Jim does not make pieces. The new pieces are nothing like the old pieces. Um, the quality on them is just superb as you look at all the details. Absolutely love this piece. And I wanted to add it there to the villains. The next piece is this one. Many would forget to consider him a villain, but he is. It's Al Huff and Al Puff. Uh, this is the big bad wolf from the Three Little Piggies. Uh, they do have the Three Little Piggies as well. One day we'll do a video on that as well. Such a beautiful piece. I love the detail on this. It's the like original, you know, um, Disney animated movies, short movies that um, Disney used to make, and I love that they're bringing a that they brought a lot of these back. Like Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. They also brought back. Um, they also brought back um, the Headless Horseman. And that one we have here. Now this Headless Horseman does come with Ichabob and his horse. I just don't have Ichabob here on this video. We'll do it for another video. And I love that they have this movie as well. And so we have the Headless Horseman. I mean, oh, such an incredible piece. Fun fact about this piece. This piece initially launched as a prototype and only like four or three were ever made in the world. And um, um, Disney just never, with Jim Shore and Disney, the plug was never pulled and it never came to life. And then they finally made it last, in 2019, this piece launched. 
2020, sorry, early 2020, this piece launched. Um, beautiful piece, and it comes with Ichabob. It's a $100 piece. Again, it does come with Ichabob and his horse, um, but it is such a beautiful piece. Well, it definitely deserves um, a spot in this video. We also have what many are sought after, this piece right here. It is the Disney Villains Holiday Ornament Set. Probably one of the most expensive ornament collections Jim Shore has ever made. Uh, not that it is when it launched, but it has become. Now this piece, when it launched, it was about $80, I believe. And in, as you zoom in, it's the Evil Queen, Captain Hook. You get um, Maleficent and Cruella. This piece launched the same time the Villain's Castle launched, that same year. Oh, people want this piece. I'm not going to take it out of the box, um, just because I'm, I'm just too lazy. <laughs> and this is the only time you're probably going to ever see this video, um, me featuring these. It, they are absolutely gorge, 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 as you look at all the details as you zoom in. Uh, beautiful ornament pieces. This is definitely on everyone's grill list. Um, if you can come across it, get it. Your these are retailing now for like about two fifty three hundred dollars for the set. So you're gonna pay a hefty amount for this set. We also have this. Also came out uh, in twenty nineteen. This came out early, like this. This came out summer of twenty nineteen. This launched, and this is a snow globe piece called Evil Enchantment, and it is Maleficent. It does not light up. It does not sing. Its retail value is, I believe, eighty dollars is the retail value. It is very heavy. It's a bigger snow globe. Not a popular piece, but I de definitely think this is going to be a piece that you're going to want your hands on for sure. And the pose of this piece in here, it mimics a figure that he made years ago, back in like 2014, 2015. He released this piece. And the name of this piece, um, it lights up by the way is evil enchant evil enchanted and something lights up here i don't know what it is but it has batteries um it does light up <laughs> and i'm trying to think what is it that's gonna light up I have never put batteries in this. Well, we'll definitely experiment with this piece when this video is done for times purposes. I don't want to take forever, but something's going to light up here. I'm looking at the dragon's eyes. It's definitely not the eyes. I'm looking at the mouth. It's not the mouth either. I don't know what it is. Maybe it makes noise. I'm so curious as I've never put batteries in it. I just noticed that it has a battery piece at the bottom. You learn something new every day, or maybe I bought this years ago and I only ever inspected it to make sure it wasn't damaged. Um, this piece does come with the side staff that comes in and out with her crow. Um, this one's going a little up in value, and it's the same exact piece that's on the snow globe. The snow globe was was created uh, based on this piece right here. It is absolutely beautiful. It's moments before she's about to transform into the dragon. Sorry, the dragon makes a 2D appearance on her garment. Beautiful piece. This one right here retails for close to about $200 now. Super, super, super cute piece. So there you have it. I'm so curious what it does. Awesome. So we also have uh, the most recent Cruella piece that came out. This came out early 2020 it was released or fall 2018. I'm, I'm, uh, 2019, sorry. It was either fall 2019? Yeah, this came out fall 2019. And this is The Cute and the Cruel. It is the last Cruella piece we made. And hopefully enough because I love Cruella and all, but we have already too many. There's so many other villains we can, he, he can still make other versions of. So no more Cruellas, Jim, for now. 
And so this, the, the one Cruella piece I want to see is I want to see her in her bed, a big, big piece of her in her bed. I love that scene. And her in her vehicle, the final scene, and her hair's all blown out. Those two Cruella pieces I'd love to see. But, Jim, if you're not going to make those two, don't make any others. <laughs> and so um, this one right here is Cruella and, in her full glory. And then we have three puppies under her big coat, which is super, super, super cute. I actually love this. This piece actually does not make her look like a villain at all. And there you have it. Now we have another Cruella piece. This is the very first Cruella piece, and you're gonna pay a hefty tag for this one as well. Uh, this one you're gonna pay anywhere from about like $300 to $500. And this is Cruella, fur-lined diva. Oh my God, she's so gorgeous. That's my, this is one of my, I'd say like top three favorite villains pieces. The way he used to make pieces is no, like what he makes now versus what he used to make. I mean, you can't even compare the detailing. I mean, it's a new manufacturer that's making the new ones. And because Jim has become so commercialized, um, the detail isn't like what it once was. Um, before these pieces were limited to like 2,000, 3,000. Now, you know, they make like 5,000, 6,000 pieces. So um, they're not made with the same love um, and quality, to be honest with you. This piece is just absolutely gorgeous. It's the first appearance in a series from Cruella. Um, she has five puppies all six puppies all around her coat in her pocketbook in her hands side pockets they're just super 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 cutie the base is beautiful the detailing of her legs I go yawning again is absolutely gorgeous as well so there you have it Now we have this guy. He is one of the henchmen from uh, the um, from him, which I'm already forgetting his name. Uh, Toothy Terror. I think he's called Harley Quinn or something like that. I forget what he's called. Uh, it is actually a candy dish. This one came out in 2018, fall of 2018. This piece launched. Gorge, Gorge, summer, sorry, June of 2018, this piece launched. It is a candy dish. It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece. I absolutely love this. This is from The Nightmare Before Christmas again. Beautiful piece. This piece launched for $70 when it first came out. Um, I'm not sure about the price now, uh, but it was $70 when it first came out. We mentioned this in the Cinderella piece. Uh, this came out last year. This came out summer to uh, June of 2020. And this is the terrible Tremaine's. It's Lady, it's Lady Tremaine with uh, Drusella and Anastasia, the evil stepsisters. Um, first appearance, first appearance in a series for all three of them and the only appearance they've ever had. Super excited about this piece when it came out. Um, also, what's really pretty about this is the base. If you notice the base in the front, there is a, a, a bridge heading towards the castle, which I think is so beautiful. If you look closely, you'll see the details. I'm not sure if you can with this camera, but it is absolutely gorgeous. The colors are on point. The, the facial expressions are beautiful. Great job with this piece. Oh. I know I'm putting you to sleep. Like right now, you're probably like, okay, I'm checking out of this video. Uh, don't <laughs> stay till the end because we're saving the best for last. Um, we're almost done with this side. We have another Maleficent piece, and this is the first in a series. It's the car from the heart. Now, usually he does these car from the hearts. He did two for Sleeping Beauty, which is awesome. He did one with uh, Aurora in the uh, forest moments uh, with all her animals uh, about to meet Prince, uh, Prince Philip. And then he made this one, Forces of Evil. This has become quite difficult to come across as well. You're going to pay about $200 for this plus. Um, and it is Maleficent in her throne with all of her henchmen. First time in a series you see her throne and or all of, you know her henchmen with her. Uh, so really, really, really kick-ass seed. What I love about this piece as well. Snap out of it! Uh, what I love about this piece is the bark actually has thorns. So all the other ones are, it's just the normal bark, but no, the tree bark has thorns all over it. 
It is a stunning, 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 stunning piece. Maleficent and the Evil Queen from Snow White are very, very popular villains pieces that he has made such an abundance of. Um, and in the Cruella and Ursula, he's made three of those a full size. He's also made like ornaments, and they've been they've made appearances in other in other pieces as well. But um, he loves his villains, and we have a brand new villains piece. This just launched. This launched in fall, and um, this is Emaciated Evil. It's Yzma from the Emperor's New Groove. First time in a series, first uh, Emperor's New Groove piece we've ever received. It's the sta it's a standalone piece. And it is Isma in her full glory standing, sitting on her throne. Now this piece has been giving a lot of problems. So I am a retailer and when I received, I received two. Um, this one was pristine and the one I was intending to sell came damaged. Now I've been checking on many Facebook groups and they have all been, many people, like literally 60% of the ones that have been shipped have come damaged. So these right here are all breaking off, which sucks. Typically what they, what Jim would do in the past was they would run a wire and then the resin, the stone resin around it, but it's just stone resin. There's nothing supporting it. So uh, any little bump and it chips off. So, um, this piece I'm going to tell you right now will be incredibly rare to allocate because they're getting so many returns on this piece that um, what's happening is when, when what happens is when it's damaged out and Esco will say keep it, they don't even want it back and basically discard of it or try to you know fix it. So I highly recommend that if you do get this piece from um, from someone, if you buy it from a store, you're going to have to return it to the store and they'll and they'll um, they'll file a claim with. Inesco. But if you, um, you know, if you're expecting it to happen, you have someone locally, you could do a professional job and reattach it. I would do it because I will tell you this piece is going to go up in value because it is a faulty piece. Um, many people will eventually want it and they will stop production on this piece. I guarantee you they will not do a reissue on this and they will stop production because of the, 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 the issue with quality control. So if you get one that's in pristine condition, lucky you. Um, and if you get one that's chipped, I'd look into just getting it repaired because it's going to become difficult to allocate in the future. Give it a year and for sure you'll see those prices skyrocket on this. And the last piece on this side, y'all saw this in my top 20 most expensive pieces video. And it is Maleficent in on the front end. And then on the back end, uh, her transforming into the dragon the eyes of the dragon light up oh it's just such a beautiful piece what is wrong with me i drank coffee this morning it's literally just it's probably late afternoon now but still gp <laughs> there you have it beautiful piece we are complete with this side. Now we're going to move on to this side. One of my favorite villain pieces ever, Scar. This is a stunning piece. I believe this piece came out in 2017. Um, in late 2017, this piece was released. It is Scar with all three hyenas on the side of his, uh, on, on the side. So beautiful. As he's stepping on uh, this, he's about to climb up this rock. His eyes are very yellow, just like the movie. It is perfection this piece i absolutely love it the name of it is called preening predator we also have royal pains i believe his name was king louis from robin hood stunning 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 pieces with his henchman the snake love this piece you could still find this for 75 dollars on a secondary market i'm surprised this piece came out in 2016 late 2016 beautiful 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 piece i love the base on this because he used that pearlescent paint um on the gemstones there's gemstones all around the base that like protrude making it like two-dimensional absolutely beautiful Oh, I just the colors on this piece. I love unconventional characters, not the same ones. And when we get pieces like this, it just overwhelms me I, in, 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 in all the good ways. 
Many of y'all may have forgot about this, but Pete's a villain. Um, this is Petey, Black Hearted Bully from the Steamboat Vintage Mickey Collection. It's, surprisingly, it's the only uh, uh, Pete piece that we've ever gotten. I'm surprised we, he's never made a modern version of Pete. But here he is in his full glory. This is a white and black gray uh, piece. And he has a peg leg. <laughs> Super cutie. Next we have Gaston. Now they did do a re-release on this piece. Um, he has been difficult to come across in Europe, and Europe just received him. So the UK just received his shipment of him a few, like a, a month or two ago. And it's Lafoe and Gaston, first appearance in the series, only appearance so far in the series. Uh, this piece, when it came out, it was seventy dollars. It came out at the same time that this Corella came out, and also Jafar came out, which I'll show you Jafar in a moment. All three of them came out together. Um, I love, 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 love this piece so much. It's called Muscle Bound Menace. So you can still find them for about $70. Such a kick-ass piece. And then we have the Jafar. So the Jafar also came out at the same time with the Cruella and the Gaston piece. This one is called Villainous Viper, and it's a second time in the series because the first time we ever saw Jafar was actually on the castle and then here again here he is with his cobra staff Iago is imprinted within his cloak and you also see the temple of the hidden temple um, and you also have him transforming into the cobra at the very end of the scene love this piece so much this is an incredible piece it is just perfection um the detailing on jafar is amazing you have to have this piece if you don't have it make sure you get it um one of my favorite villains pieces he's ever made it is so beautiful i'm gonna be right back we're gonna put some of these away just to clear up some space and we'll be back with the final pieces and we're back and so next we have devil of the sea from Pirates of the Caribbean. This is, what is it? Davy? Captain? I forget his name. Um, I'm not a fan of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies at all, but I do know his name. <laughs> um, so um, here he is in his full glory. This is the only standalone Pirates of the Caribbean piece ever made. He has gone up drastically in price. He used to be quite common to find, but as of last year, he's become very difficult to find. Um, and um, he originally retailed for like $65 when he launched, and now he's going for close to about $125, $150. Um, D.V. Lewis, what's, it, what's your name? I forget. Uh, beautiful piece. The detailing on this piece is amazing. And what I love is I compare this with the Pirates of the Caribbean pieces from the park. I, I pair them with the park pieces, the, well, the exclusives. So if you've seen my video, um, or Jones, is it like Captain D.V. Jones? I forget your freaking name. Um, but... Um, I pair him with the other Pirates of the Caribbean exclusive pieces that have launched. We have three other pieces that have launched, so he goes beautiful with all of them. I can't wait for a Jack Sparrow piece, to be honest with you. Don't like the movie, but we definitely need him. Um, Davy Jones. I knew I would get it. It's Davy Jones. I'm 100% sure that's the name. I could be wrong. <laughs> Next we have... Gothel. So we have um, Maternal Malice. This is Madame Gothel. She is the evil stepmom. She's like the stepmom. She abducted Rapunzel. That's so fudged up. Literally abducted her uh, for her power to stay young. Uh, anyway, um, love this piece. It was released last year? Was it? Yeah, this piece was released summer of 2020 um i love that they made her and then she actually has on her veil she has you know rapunzel as a child her father and her mother it's a beautiful piece um she's such a complex villain it's really complex but 
Um, nevertheless, she is a villain, and I do appreciate that we have more adversity with villains. Next, Madame Mim. So this is Madcap Metamorphosis, Madame Mim and all of her transformations from the Sword in the Stone. The first ever Sword in the Stone piece, as it stands, it's the only Sword in the Stone piece. Um, such an amazing, amazing character. This came out also at the same time. This one came out summer of last year. It is such a kick-ass piece. I love this piece. The cobblestone floor, all of her trans all of her wicked transformations throughout the movie. Just her kookiness. It is her hands. I mean, this is an impeccable piece. Amazing, 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 amazing job. You need this in your collection. It is, again, loves it. And I love it when they make characters that aren't as popular. Really appreciate that. Then we have um the Nightmare Before Christmas, The Mad Scientist. This piece is very limited in its run as well. This one came out in 2015, 2000, yeah, 2014, I believe it was released, 2015. Um, and it's The Mad Scientist. Um, it is such an epic piece, very difficult to come across. I paid for this $150 and this was about almost two years ago. I know he's going for about 300 350 now. Very, very, very challenging piece to come across. It's also very small, to be honest with you. It's a very small piece, but I love, like, these little glow-in-the-dark. I'm not sure if they're glow-in-the-dark, but they have, like, this neon green color, like, starburst to them. And his wheelchair, it is an epic piece. Then we have the original Oogie Boogie that came out. So this launched with the second wave of Nightmare Before Christmas. The first two Nightmare Before Christmas pieces that ever launched was Jack and Sally. And then the wave came out. Where this came out, the mayor came out, a few other Jacks came out. Like a Christmas Jack, Lock, Shock, and uh, Shock, Lock, and Barrel also were part of the first wave as well. Then they made another version. But this one is a glow-in-the-dark Oogie Boogie. And this is called Roll the Dice. See, I remember his name, Oogie Boogie. He does glow in the dark, so it does have this glow in the dark paint to it. You have to be very cautious with this paint because if you bump it into anything, it the color kind of the, the glow in the dark paint kind of chips off. So you want to be very careful with this one. I love that he has a little dice in his hand. This is an incredibly sought-after villain. Many, many, many people want this in their collection. Um, it is beautiful. And again, it does have a glow-in-the-dark feature. I believe this is the first time Jim ever did a glow-in-the-dark. And then after that, he did a ghost with Mickey in a glow-in-the-dark feature. I want to make sure that there's any other glow-in-the-darks I'm forgetting. Um, he then made the... Uh, no, actually, the first glow-in-the-dark feature piece he's ever made was the Haunted Mansion of Three Ghosts. He's made the Haunted Mansion, the new one, the Doom Buggy vehicle. He made the Ghost with Mickey glow in the dark. He's made the organ player glow in the dark. This is glow in the dark. Um, and I believe there's like a Halloween Tinkerbell that glows in the dark as well, if I'm not mistaken. That one glows in the dark as well. Um, there's also been a Halloween Mickey that glows. He's like dressed up as a skeleton. That one glows in the dark. So he's made quite a few glow in the dark pieces. I like. And then lastly, we have last uh, summer, this came out last summer, the Gambling Ghoul, another version of Oogie Boogie. So many people want that one and can't get their hands on it, but this is a beautiful resort. I actually love this one. I love the detailing on this because you see the worms in his mouth. Um, you also see the worms coming out of his stitches, which I really appreciate with that one you don't. So um, here you see him in his imperfections. You see this vine base, which is beautiful. This you could still purchase. I love this piece. I think he looks amazing. Um, there's things about this one I like more than that one. And there's things about that one I like. They're both amazing, but nevertheless, you definitely want this in your collection. Next we have Ursula. We've mentioned this before. Now this Ursula piece was the third Disney villain piece. You know what? We're going to save this. Because I want to show you the first three villains ever made. 
<laughs> so the next piece we have is Hate. So this piece initially came out in 2016. 2016 was the year that I did not, I was transitioning. I had just, uh, I opened my business and financially I just like, I did not have the ability to afford any of these pieces. So 2016 for me, I didn't purchase I, not a single Jim Shore piece. I was present to the ones that were being released, but I didn't care as much. And unfortunately, through 2016, there was an incredibly limited size run. Any piece made in 2016 is worth so much money now. This was one of them. And it's Lord Hades from Hercules. First time in a series appearance. And there he is with Hercules. And I'm forgetting your name. What is your name? Why do I forget her name? It's going to come to me. Um, and so... There they are. Um, this piece when I initially launched was about $75, $85. Then uh, it went up to like literally two, $300 to get this piece was like 250 Then they made a re-release of it. So be mindful. There is a re-release of this piece. It is identical to the first. You can't tell. There's no variation or difference. But you can now buy him for like $75, $85. Don't go spending more than $85, $95 for this piece because they did make a reissue. Sometimes I see it on Amazon and it is a re-release of it. So don't go paying that much for it. It kind of, unfortunately, when I did that re-release, it did lose its value, which blows. Um, but there is no distinguishing the first and the second. Um, they're identical. So is the item number everything. There's no variation. So there you have it. Then we have the Evil Queen. This is the first time in series, the Royal Recreation Queen of Hearts, not the Evil Queen, the Queen of Hearts, sorry. And I absolutely love this piece. It adds so much color and depth to my Alice in Wonderland collection. Love her red dress. Then the detailing, they're playing with the flamingos. They're playing um, whatever game they're playing. You see one of the cards in the back. Alice is there as well in the scene. Stunning, stunning, stunning piece. This piece also was paired with the collection that I showed you before, but I wanted to share her separately because it was a first time in appearance. The Cruella, Maleficent, Evil Queen, and Ursula that came with a storybook. This one was also released with that collection. They made five of them. She's now far more difficult to come across and you're seeing her now in the secondary market for about $100. We then have the Evil Queen from Snow White. Um, this one is Evil in Evil Enthroned. This is her in her throne, her peacock throne. Beautiful scene from that movie. It's a subtle scene. It's not a long scene, but right when she's discussing with the um, huntsman to take Snow's heart, you do see her sitting on this throne. This piece has become very, very, very difficult to find. Um... I know Fantasies Come True has one that was damaged and even that one sold. Um, this one right now, you're going to pay minimum like 200 250 for this piece. It's become very, very difficult. You might get lucky to get it for $150. Uh, when it first launched, it was about, I believe this piece was about almost $100. It was like $85, $90. Um, it is a beautiful piece, huge piece as well. Um, as you look at all the details, I just love, 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 love this piece. So beautiful. We also have her as the old evil hag. This piece um, is Take a Bite. This one came out in 2014. A very underrated piece at the time, and now it has blown up. Everyone wants this piece, and you're gonna you can get it right now in the secondary market for like $175, $200. It's the old hag by herself. Uh, second time in the series we have the old hag, but this is a standalone piece. And there she is offering Snow the poison apple. Beautiful piece. And then we have the third villain piece ever made. So um, this was the very uh, he. I'm going to show you the first, second, and third. This was the very, this was the third villain's piece ever created, and it was when he launched the Peter Pan collection um, back in 2000. Peter Pan collection came out in 2008. 
And uh, this was one of the four pieces that launched. And it was the first time in a series we got Captain Hook. Um, and Shmi, this is when he used to do pieces that were dual-ended. And I'm sorry, this is the second piece that ever was created. I'm going to show you the third and I'm going to show you the first villains. This was the second villains piece ever made. So beautiful. What I love about the detailing here is his sword. So the original one, his sword is bent. They then made a reissue of this where the sword is straight. So the original one, the sword is bent. And the bottom is also a different color. So the original one, it's a baby blue base. The new one, it's a mint green base or a dark blue, I forget. Um, and then I love the deep, Dave's never done this before where he got like this thick, 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 thick paper. Um, and that's how he created his mustache. And then you have the metal hook. I mean, the details on this piece are like nothing. And it's a very tall piece with the bow, uh, with the feather over his hat, a very, very, very tall piece. Again, he does not make pieces like this anymore. I mean, the quality back, you know, when these pieces launched from 2006 to 2000, I'd say up to like 2014, the quality of these pieces were impeccable. Especially early on, 2006 to, 2000, uh, to 2006 to 2010, in my experience, were the best years that Jim ever created these pieces. The third piece ever released was this one. You saw it in my previous video. It's Ursula Deep Sea Diva. This was the third um, evil uh, villain piece ever made. And here you have her. She's with her two eels. This should have been in my top 20 video. This piece right here will cost you about five to six hundred dollars um, on the secondary market now. Very difficult piece to come across. Of all the villains pieces, it's literally top three most difficult to, to allocate right now. Um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece. And we're gonna finish it with the first ever villains piece ever made. This is the first villain, first appearance in a series of a villain. <laughs> and it is the... It's just called Wicked. It's so OG that it's just called Wicked. <laughs> um, and it is the Evil Queen um, from Snow White. And she has the heart box. As you can see, her dress is telling a story. You see Snow in the forest with her animals as she's looking through the mirror. Um, and she's holding the box in which Snow's heart uh, will eventually be in. And it never does get to be in. She never utilizes it in the movie. But anyway, this, is, uh, this piece launched in 2007. Part of the Snow White capsule collection. This was one of the pieces that launched with that collection. Um, it came out 2006, 2007. I'm not sure. I believe it was 2006. Um, yeah, 2006 this piece came out. It was the very one, it was part of the very first collections that came out with Jim Shore. And the very first Jim Shore Disney piece that ever was launched was the Snow, uh, the Seven Dwarves on the Log. When that launched, he immediately then launched a Grumpy, a Dopey, a Snow White, and this Evil Queen. What's cool about this Evil Queen is she features, is the first time ever we experience a dual-sided feature, which is something he doesn't do anymore, but before he used to do, and I wish he can go back to doing. And here you have the Evil Hag as she's conquering, as she's, um, as she's, um, what's the word? Concocting. What's wrong with me today? As she's concocting, uh, concocting, concocting her evil potion where she's going to dip the apple. Um, it is beautiful. This is such a, this is a piece you want to have like on a rotating disc that just spins around slowly because there is so much to experience here. Like sometimes I'm, I'm never like, I never know which side I want to feature. Like which side do I want to have her feature first? It is a beautiful piece. When this piece first launched, it was $75, which was very inexpensive for especially the size on this piece. Um, a piece like this today would be $125. Um, she has gone up in value, of course. Um, so it's the first ever Jim Shore Disney villains piece ever made. So I thought we'd save her to the very end. Also, I just love the old hag's hand, how just like um, skeletorish they look. It's just, it's so perfect. I mean, again, they don't make pieces like this anymore. 
So there you have it. I really hope you enjoyed this video to whomever requested it. You're welcome. Um, uh, I This is every single Disney villain's uh, piece ever made. Uh, again, I am sure I, this was a total of 51 pieces in total. I really hoped you enjoyed it. Um, and if you want to see something else on my channel, make a suggestion. Type it below if there's a capsule collection, a specific movie. Let me know, um, and I will produce. Last this, I you know honestly, I got this request last week, but you won't be received. I won't be filmed. This won't be launched until another three weeks from today. But um, y'all request it, I produce it. Stay amazing, stay awesome. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget again, subscribe. Uh, this is the first time any of this has ever been seen on YouTube. So you're first. Uh, you're not seeing it anywhere else. You're seeing it here on my channel. So um, yeah, if you're looking for that checklist to complete your, 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 your collection, make sure to subscribe. Hit that bell to be notified every Monday when I come live. And you know, um, Comment below and share this video if you're a part of any Disney group, Facebook group, Instagram group. Share this video. Share this thumbnail. I really would appreciate the support, the love, um, and over and out. Stay amazing. Bye.